Underpinning this racist form of comedy is a deep social amnesia, a denial of a history of slavery. Between the 7th and 19th century, Arab traders captured millions of African slaves and shipped them out of the continent. Slavery was not formally abolished in the Arab Gulf countries until 1970. Many contend a modern form of slavery still exists there today. The Arabic word for slave, abd, is commonly used as a racial slur. The Middle East history of slavery, the casual racism, particularly against Sudanese or Nubian people from the south of Egypt, and the depictions of black Arabs on screen are interwoven. But, as many Arabs often say, the context is different. Is it really fair to compare Arab slavery and blackface with their Western counterparts? I am sure that when people object to the idea that blackface is offensive in the Middle East, they're... Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mechakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. And uh, where's, the, where's the part at? And uh, yeah, the scriptures say, uh, let not a dog move his tongue against the nation of Israel. All right, but all of these are the side effects of us going down and uh, being made low and uh, ultimately going against our power by right, going under every high hill and every green tree. Right, this is the result of it. What does it say? Uh, you'll be made a proverb, a byword, a reproach. This is a, this video is just a response uh, to the one that was done on two through an info which basically brought out some of this stuff like this depiction uh, which, you know, our, our women are out of water, but these other nations, you know, they help forward the affliction. You know, that's them. They're still doing blackface. They're still making a mockery. And ultimately, it's because they didn't have to go into the same servitude because the covenant, look at this foolishness. The covenant, not, not even funny. The covenant is, the covenant is supposed to be the nigga one. The covenant was not given unto them. All right, the covenant was not given unto them. These people are so without salt, man. All right, this is Ezekiel 16. And, uh, and, and 30. It says, how weak is thine heart, say, if the most high seen thou doest all these things, the work of an imperious whorish woman, and that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makest thine high place in every street, and has not been as a harlot, and that thou scornest higher, but as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband. And well, that's the thing, man. Our people have paired themselves with all of these different other cultures, uh, man, n niggas love Islam, right? That that uh, Ramadan shit, you know, was just over. And uh, I work with, you, you could tell if a, if a nigga's into Islam, man. You could just look at him. You could see it in his face, right? His his bald face. If a nigga's, you know, into Islam or, you know, why, whatever, whatever weird shit, with with an Arabic stamp that they're into, you could just tell. All right, uh, it says they give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers and hirest them that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. And that's exactly what 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 happened. Here it is, all these other nations. They didn't had a chance to, to have us in chains and slaves and all this stuff. When you look up the history, it even tells you in uh, from Babylon to Timbuktu, 
You know, it talks about Mecca and Medina were filled with slaves, right? which they said, uh, you know, they'll say African slaves, but we know who it really is talking about. Right? It's really talking about uh, Jake. Right, maybe of course Ham, you know, they might have been slaves too because uh serv you know, servanthood and slavery, yeah, it it goes back, you know, to old days. Okay, but yeah, we were never meant to uh be slaves and to you other nations and service to you other nations. Now that's why the scripture unless the Lord ordains it, the scriptures say what? He that leadeth in the captivity shall go unto captivity. All right, we are not the saved. We are we are the the one appointed for the blessing. All right, and that's that's uh, I'm gonna get that too next because it tells you that in Galatians. I'm gonna get the account in Genesis. They said what uh, these guys are a bead. That are bead. <laughs> but first, this man, Genesis twenty. Uh, no, 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 that's not what I want. <laughs> this is Genesis seventeen, getting straight to the point. In nineteen, and the Most High said, "Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac." And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. So like, I'm going to read this again. And the Most High said, verse 19, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And in verse 18, it says, And Abraham said unto the Most High, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. All right? And the thing is, Ishmael was already on the scene. And Ishmael, you know, does have a certain blessing because a lot of Ishmaelites, a.k.a. Arabs, uh, they, they, they do know that they're the sons of Ishmael. All right? Ishmael, I believe it says, you know, he'll have 12 princes. You know, he had 12 princes as well. All right, but it was through Isaac that the covenant was given. All right, yeah, verse 20. As, as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes that he beget, and I will make him a great nation. All right, so they were made into a, a, a great nation, uh, but they were not given the covenant. They were not made into the greatest nation. All right, verse 16. It said also, uh, 1611, Genesis 1611, and the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, and he will be a wild man. Let's look at that word of a wild. A wild ass. Bear fruit, running wild. Yep, he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. There you go, a wild. Ishmael is a wild man. All right, these these Arabs, the the. the, the you watch them fight. They'll blow them damn themselves up to, just to blow you up. And wow. In the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? IEDs and, and all kind of shit. All right, but you guys were not given the covenant. And right, that's why they try to uh, uh, go away from the Bible and go to the Quran. Right, which Muhammad was not mentioned in the Bible. Muhammad and, and Muhammad's not and Muhammad's not a real prophet. He's not amongst the saints. All right, let not a dog move his tongue against Israel. And see, this is an old connection. All right, the reason they're doing that is because Esau is in power. 
right? In Psalms 83, in verse 6, when it mentions all these nations that have consulted against with one consent, and says they're confederate against thee, in verse 5, they say the tabernacles of Eden first, then it mentions the Ishmaelites second. Right? Who did uh, who did Esau run to after uh, Jacob was given that blessing? Let's see. Genesis. Right, come on. Look at that. You have Genesis 28 and 8. And Esau seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father. Then, then went Esau unto Ishmael and took up unto the wives which he had, Mahaleth, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebajoth to be his wife. Right, and Ishmael, the brother of Isaac, is Isaac's brother. So these women were his cousins. Right, proving that in the scriptures you actually can deal with your cousin, but now this is a, this is an old custom. But that connection is there, man, between Esau and Ishmael. And it always has been. Uh, you look up the slave trade, you see these Ishmaelites, uh, which I'm, I'm going to do some more research. They talk about, you know, them creating the, sh you know, making a lot of the ships. <laughs> they did a lot of business with Esau. They did, they, you know, slavery. Uh, because they had a, they said Ishmael would dwell amongst his brothers. You know, they're, they're right in the middle. But uh, they had control over all of those routes, you know, going from from uh, northeast Africa, you know, and, and uh, all the way to, you know, shit, all shit from West Africa across the Sahara, all the way down, you know, to India, wherever. Right? A lot of those uh, says we were scattered across the four corners of the earth. So not only were we brought over here. But it's other places, you know, the Middle East and, and, and beyond where we were also brought. Right? Our history is vast, man. And they, Ishmael, they got a lot of our history. And they know a lot of our history. All right? When, they, when we tell them that we're the sons of Jacob, a lot of them in the know, they know that we're right. They know exactly who we are. All right, so you guys can make a mockery. Call us a bead. In which you look in the scriptures, uh, in the Hebrew, the pure holy tongue, okay, which was given <laughs> unto Jacob, because <laughs> you guys speak a broken form of Hebrew with that Arabic shit, all right? Ibar came on the scene before, uh, uh, yeah, Eber, it says Eber. We know Hebrew goes back to, you know, this, this person's name. Eber, a.k.a. Ibar. All right, then Ibar is introduced way before you see uh, Arab or you see Ishmael back in Genesis 10. The Lord preserved his lineage through that line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is Genesis 19. And it mentions the word servant, which they, they call us a, a bead, servant. All right? Scripture is Ibad, which means it does mean servant. All right? Like you have Obadiah, servant of the Heavenly Father, servant of Yahweh. Are right? you going to call us anything, man? Call us Ibadja, because we are servants of the Heavenly Father. Hey, right? but Galatians 4 and 28. Right, now we brethren as Isaac was as the promise are the children of promise but as then he that he was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit even so it is now nevertheless what what saith the scripture cast out the bondwoman and her son for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman so then brethren we are not children of the bondwoman but of the free and that was the thing, uh, 
even though Ishmael was older. You know, Isaac was given that blessing. Right, that was a that was a thing too, man, because uh um uh, Ishmael's mother, she was uh, she was the servant, you know, of uh of Sarah. And that's a you know status you know that was a, that's a thing, you know who's the uh, who the who cause, you know because a, a king can have harlots he can have you know he could he could deal you know you could deal with your uh, your female servants or whatever according to the law, but then you know the, those children of your wife you know they they receive an inheritance they receive a certain blessing, right, which Ishmael did you know we read the blessing to Ishmael. But it was through Isaac that his seed will be caught. All right, and that's what they're they're mad about, man. All these nations are mad because they don't have that salt. They don't have that that blessing. That's why they're sitting there right next door to the Holy Land, you know, pretending like it belongs to them when it, they know it doesn't. All right, but hey, all this stuff, you know. It's coming to a close. This is another reason why Esau has to be taken out of power. Because they, they inspire, you know, these other nations to talk shit and do wickedly. It talks about them. They they uh they saw us, they wagged their finger and hissed. And this is all uh thanks to Esau Edom. <laughs> Alright? But they're all also finding out. Because the scriptures say that the, the other nations will hate the whore. They're finding out that they've done business with the devil the whole time. That's why you're seeing uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia linking back up. That's why you're seeing them become resistant to, um, like during the, uh, was that the Olympics? They said, you know, none, none, you can't wear that rainbow flag shit over here. No. Because they know it's wrong. I right, see us. We're gonna bring that old law back. We're gonna bring, we're gonna bring order back. All right, and you guys are gonna love it, and you're gonna salute, and you're gonna bow before us. And if you don't, it's gonna be consequences. Lord willing, that a fire, shall one.